2013, about halfway over now, and two men have kind of made comebacks of sorts uh, with the WWE that I really thought I'd never see happen. Bruno San Martino, of course, inducted into the WWE Hall of Fame back uh, over WrestleMania weekend in April. And Bruno had had a lot of resentment and bitterness towards the WWE, towards Vince McMahon. So to see him back, um, so to speak, uh, and a part of the WWE Hall of Fame really came as a surprise to me. And I did a video about that uh, a while back. But uh, long story short, you know, Bruno didn't like the direction, the sports entertainment uh, direction that things were going. Um, and really pretty much refused to go into the Hall of Fame. So I'm happy that he is a part of it. Um, being there live and in person at Madison Square Garden when Bruno went in, the pop that he got, the fans obviously still remember Bruno. 50 plus years ago, he was the WWE Heavyweight Champion and held that title longer than anyone has ever held it. So obviously a very deserving member of the Hall of Fame. And I hope that they do some maybe DVDs, maybe bring him back from time to time. Obviously not to get in there and wrestle, but would love to see him uh, because it seems like they go to that same cycle of legends with you know, Rowdy Roddy Piper, the Iron Sheik, uh, Nikolai Volkov, Bret Hart. We're seeing those guys constantly. So bringing in somebody fresh like Bruno uh, would be a uh, welcome to change, as with the Ultimate Warrior as well. You know, obviously uh, the Warrior kind of had that whole uh, period of time, the self-destruction of the Ultimate Warrior, where a lot of the WWE brass, Vince McMahon, Triple H, Jim Ross, a lot of guys bashed him on that DVD. And I don't know how much of it was warranted, how much of it was fair. Um, I, I liked the Ultimate Warrior growing up. I thought he was uh, charismatic, entertaining, um, which is what you want in a, in a wrestler. And I, obviously, he didn't have, you know, he wasn't going to wrestle like Bret Hart or Shawn Michaels or or Chris Benoit or, or those guys. But you know what? He brought something uh, to the product. Uh, you know, was he going to be the second coming of Hulk Hogan? Did he screw up his opportunities? I don't know. I don't want to get into all that because I don't know all the backstage uh, comings and goings and, and what exactly went on. I know that he came and went with the WWE. And it looks like now, 2013, he has signed on to be a part of the uh, 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 Y2K um, video game series. I, I, uh, I'm not saying that right, but you know what I'm talking about. The video game that he's going to be a part of uh, for 2014. So, you know, this is an exciting opportunity. Vince McMahon has praised him on Twitter. Warrior has praised Vince on Twitter. So hopefully the, the bridge burning is over and we're rebuilding and bringing in another legend who certainly, in my opinion, deserves to also be a part of the WWE Hall of Fame. And also, speaking of Warrior, you know, I have a lot of these LJ and figures, but Ultimate Warrior was one that I never got. I want to thank Old School Warrior Axe Allward for letting me borrow the Ultimate Warrior. He'll be making some guest appearances in some videos. And also, another Hall of Fame, I talk about it all the time, Macho Man, Randy Savage, Hall of Fame 2014. Would love, love, love to see that happen. Um, and you know, you could do Warrior and Savage. These guys are both legends from the, you know, the late 80s, early 90s era of, of wrestling. They uh, molded a lot of young fans. And I think, uh, you know, DVD releases and, and, and doing some more specials with these guys, all three of them, uh, could be legendary and uh, could make some money for the WWE, which, you know, it's all about the wrestling, it's all about the entertainment, it's all about the Benjamin. So thank you guys for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to my 123 Cents. Oh, yeah!